That should not have happened. Maybe that'll fix my problem? Hopefully it did. No, I'll just miss it this time. Just this time though. Everything's fine. Why did it do that? Interesting. Sorry about that, chat. I don't know why I did that. I dismissed that break. Why is it? Okay. Back to it. Come on, load in. Oh, this was before I talked to everything. But this is where the nanites are. Okay. Ah, purple ship. New milestone accomplished. What? Oh. I don't see any living ships. Or the new ship that I haven't seen yet, which is the solar ship. Isn't this shitting me? 
Okay. Oh, space anomaly. Explore the space anomaly. Will this work now? That the game had to go away. Probably has to give me nanites for it to actually work. Okay. So I'll have to wait until another day to do this, since a lot of the stuff is once a day bullshit. So let's go with here. Who's for Artemis? Select the Space Anomaly mission and log. Oh, I can't even do that anymore. Okay. Upgraded and a drop. Okay, I just need to get out of here. Hello, drone. Okay. There's copper, gold, and silver there. I could definitely get the copper and use that. There's no sodium, though. Copper, phosphorus, cobalt. Useful, but not what I need. Copper, jacksite, sodium. That is useful. Okay. Let's see, can I find an area that's more... I don't mind huge swaths of uh, snow and everything, but I want to get to areas that I can move around it. Oh, that didn't help actually. Is there an area out here that's a little bit more hospitable and not and a little bit less like frozen tundra destruction? Not that that matters too much. Anyway, what was that? I do want to explore the planet a little bit though. Okay, just a floating island. Building, huh? Ah! Why is this a building? But they give me sa uh, sodium. Oh, oxygen, this one. Okay. What if I go in here, though? This has gold. 
does. Cobalt too. Nothing too bad. So that's Frostwork. I honestly don't care about this area. What is this? Oh, it's an outpost! I can use this! So one of the not both of the portable refiners. So the glowing mineral. Uh, I need to keep the salvage data and navigation. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do you have here? I do definitely need microprocessors, and I could buy a few of them. They only have two pages? Okay. So, Starship launch field is nice. Microprocessors, I could definitely use them. I can make them now, though. Alright, so. What do I need first? No, not none of that. This. But I can't get any of that right now. I kinda can do that. I have microprocessors. Um protection Damn protection falling. And I can use a portable refiner here. So, Starship. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to sell this stuff. Uh, I have Transponder. A unique Transponder ripped from the internal signal array of an outlawed Starship. Possession of such a device implies the destruction of the vessel in question. Go over to the Envoy Mercenaries Guild. The associated bonuses. But... If I sell a trade terminal, I get eighty-five thousand units. I'll sell it. I don't need inc uh, increased, whatever it's called. There we go. Good enough. Then multi-tool. I do want to fix up the other ship, but this multi-tool. I need three more microprocessors. Uh, do I need any more? It's three right now. Yeah. I can get coming sacks and sell them right now. <laughs> Alright. I need three of these. And then I can go ahead and go to the, the multi-tool, put the uh, microprocessors here, sodium here, and then I just had to make the hematic seals, which I need four of them. In order to make hematic seals, I need well, more space in my stuff, but uh, no carbon. I need more of them. There. I know my thermal protection is falling. Sh shut the fuck up. There, now I got an open spot. I need ionized cobalt. Uh, ionized more stuff. And this is fire rates and blah blah. I need gun. So I need phosphorus for this one. Let's go ahead and put the phosphorus in there. Uranium and ammonia. So I need a lot of stuff. I 
I could sell these. Wait a minute, what is this? Why is there damage machinery here? Come on, give me what you have. Thank you for the nanites. Can sell bulbs too, Lamir. How much are marrow bulbs? Let's see. And let's go ahead and just get this set up. Garbage. Press the metal, please. Again. Then I can go over to the computer. Sell. Um. The marrow bulbs sell for a decent chunk. Okay. Yes, pirate transponder. Gek relics. And the pearls. Oh, those pearls sell for a decent amount, so even if I do, don't get them often. Nice. I could get the ammonia, though. Do I need ammonia? We're good. I need 2550 with ionized cobalt, which is also 50. And uranium if I can get it. So ammonia, so 50 ammonia. That's fine. And then I need ionized cobalt. So nothing else. So I need ionized cobalt in this matter, as well as uranium. That's heal. Cute. And I can get more bulbs for money. That's health. So, let's go ahead and get some money. Why can't I? Okay. It may not be a lot of money, but it's still some money. And it's good chunks. So, since game marrow, marrow, marrow here are common enough. Scan the damn tree, damn it. Oh, it gives me condensed carbon? I can live with that. Humming sacks. Because there's a, another group of humming sacks over there. I can use the marrow bulbs for other things. Yeah, ferrite dust. Give it to my exosuit. Um, let's just get the living slime in there. Uh, let's see. Add more. What? Okay, apparently not. Fill so this up, or carbon, and this gives me the runway mold. Same. About a minute and a half. I get the pearl. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like shooting them better. Far faster. Uh. Okay. Ooh, gives me oxygen. Good deal with that. Because giving a lot of marrow bulbs. I'd only be able to, like, destroy them into other things. At least this way I can sell them and get decent chunks of money for them. And I don't normally have a reason to use the pearls. And they take up a lot of inventory space. So, any reason to fucking use them is nice. I only use them for trading stuff anyway, but since they take up so much space, it doesn't matter. I normally just ignore them. Minor beam takes carbon. Come on. Scan the damn thing. Yes. Fidget and vibrate. Visible tree. Ooh, sodium. I can do that. I need sodium anyway. Such a small amount that it wasn't worth the fucking carbon to fuel this thing. This area is a vulnerable gold mine. I'm pretty sure I cleared out the area. I also like how this is supposed to be a building. But the building is the trade terminal. But I need to ionize cobalt. Can I just do this? Ooh, I get nanite clusters? Yeah. Five to one, though. That's not too bad. But this is a small way of getting cl uh, nanite clusters. And it's a good way to using those fucking living slimes, since they only take up space anyway. So that works out. Alright. I wonder what this would turn into. I like. So I need ionized cobalt. Let's see cobalt. Do I not have enough cobalt? I 
I didn't know I didn't have cobalt. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. I don't need any more of this stuff. Well, I do need cobalt, though. I could just buy it. I could also just farm it for anywhere around me. How much am I willing to spend? I have a million. I could buy that. It has a demand, so I can farm it and get some money, too. Probably not a lot of money, but still money. Okay. All to do now is go over to these pillar like rocks. Get some cobble. And I'll get dehydrogen. Which is fuel. Vester. And I can get some more cave marrow. Which I find useful regardless. Got silver with that too. Ooh, geode. This is an advanced mining wizard in all this work too. I need cobalt for ionized cobalt. And I can always use more fuel, so. And geodes are always cool. But sure, um, selling them is. Nine times out of ten more beneficial than actually opening them. But, uh, geodes are actually pretty good. Because you can get super, super rare materials out of them. As well as the fact that they actually drop the most common materials you need. So they're great early on. Don't get wrong, because they'll just drop whatever. And you might get lucky and have it drop something really, really valuable, too. And and then I can go around and also shooting up trees and shit, so I can get more uh, carbon. You're not worth destroying. It's annoying. But I'll do it anyway. So, I need to switch this to the bolt caster. Reload. And this also uses my ammo, so it's actually not bad. And it's not like I'm not going to get stuff out of it. Are using all this ammo. But I also don't need all this ammo. I'll just use all that up, reload, and then switch. Okay, so I did toggle the switch. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
Um. Huh. Anyway. Oh, hi, buddy. Cute. Alright, so I need to put more cobalt in there. Oh, I got a lot of cobalt this time. Uh, let's put condensed carbon in there this time. Give me ionized. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the galactic terminal and sell. I did get some stuff here. Like the geodes sell for 6,000, which is nice, but you can always get that cool stuff, so let's go ahead and sell the marble bulb. Um, yeah. And then I need ionized cobalt for the multi tool. This thing is almost done, so I just need uranium now. And this is for the multi tools of supercharge high voltage nanowires. And this is for the gun. So if I just do this and fucking what? Is my inventory too full? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. transfer. Let's go ahead and transfer everything that I know is something that I'm going to have to use all the time. And keep the other stuff down here. Like these always use. Throw the gold here. Put the salvage data there. No, I don't want to craft. Navigation data could be useful. Put that there. Uh, dehydrogen, no. Silver, no. Um, geodes, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, I got more cobalt for that. <laughs> Silicates from grinding up grounds. Don't know what I used uh, phosphorus for, though. I'll throw that in there for now. It's supposed to be a building here. <laughs> I need antimatter and wiring for that, but anyway. Multi tool. So, I got everything I need now from this. Terrain manipulator wouldn't be too bad. Personal force field would also be useful. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then, um, bolt caster is the upgrade. I just tossed the other one. Um, terrain manipulator. Put the hydrogen in there. I need uh, wiring loom and carbon nanotubes. I can make carbon nanotubes. And I only need two of those. 
go. So now I got a terrain manipulator. Perfect. So I just need wire limb at that point. No, I get that. Okay. I don't really need anything else right now. And I can't buy anything else I want from him. Actually, that's incorrect. Um, depending on the ship. If I summon the hawk here... Not only would I be able to refill it... But I can also go in here... And see what I can repair. So I can get microprocessors and chromatic metal. Definitely useful. Huh. Another ship here. So I definitely need microprocessors. I can buy ammonia. I keep saying I can buy ammonia. I need three or two, actually. Yeah. Sodium nitrate. I need a lot more sodium and pure ferrite. And chromatic metal. Platinum. I need a lot of gold and magnetic ferrite. I can give this pugnium. Pugnium. That's just uh, paraffinium. I'm not sure how to make that right now. Um, what? Alright. So some more oxygen. I need dioxide for that. That's interesting. Oh, ran out of oxygen. Okay. Chromatic metal and wiring looms. I need six wiring looms? Oh, I can use these. I can sell that. Uh, sell that. I can use that. Sell that. Or no, sell this. Sell this. Corvex casings. Have I a curiosity? Okay. Ognium. So I need a lot of oxygen and chromatic metal. There's nothing I can really buy. Huh. Yeah, I can't really buy any of that. I could get these local trade goods and sell them later. 
But I don't have materials for to do that easily. Go ahead and sell the geosite. Chromix casing, versions cubes, Viking effigies. Okay. Wrong one. No one. And let's go ahead and throw that in there. I could put the hard frame engine in there. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's entertaining. Anyway, goop. Turn into viscous fluid. Uh, I did put something into the starship like this. And I can hold up to 10. Can I install that? Hard frame engine, anomalous material. Sentinel hard frame unit. Though now cool to the touch, it still glows with the sense to red heat. Um, used for upgrade. Sell though. Oh, it doesn't sell them. Okay. Can't sell them. How about rusted metal? There's a fair dust. Perfect. And, everyone, I will go ahead and do this for now. Got my music. And I'll be back. Because I've got some dinner.
I am back, if you can't tell. <laughs> no, my game! Why is it doing that? That's kind of pissing me off. I really don't like why it's doing that. I don't even know why it's doing it. But hopefully it's not too much I lost. Like, the game was fine, it was doing its normal thing, no problem. But then suddenly it fucking... ...winks out of existence once I start trying to play it again. Like, I went through the menus and shit too, right before I started up. And then suddenly it goes... ...and down, gone. Off. Not only that, but it desktops at that. Like, completely crashes. So is this a common issue in No Man's Sky? What the hell? That doesn't make sense. It literally doesn't tell me any kind of effects. Interesting. I don't like this. And the humming pods are back.
Okay. So, a lot of the stuff that I was fixing is now not fixed. Okay, so, I already got the pods. It still counts them. So I can get a microprocessor going. Read them. God damn it. But I don't need those microprocessors. Great. Okay. I guess I could wait until this is done. But it's always nice to have a bit more fairy dust on me. Alright. Let's see. Uh, technology module's not bad. Dioxides. Dioxides. Wing sacks don't care. Sodium, not bad. Uh, sodium. Copper. I do need the copper. And there's more carbon. sodium. Switches to the terrain manipulator. Actually, where is this? Alright, it's in dehydrogen. I do need more dehydrogen, apparently. Working on ferrite. And I got a geode. Come on. There's more ferrite. Okay. Uh, this needs sodium, which I'm fine with. And this needs oxygen. I don't have a lot of. Okay. But I need to find something that gives me oxygen. Uh, carbon oxygen. It's not a great amount, but something. Carbon. Carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay. Because I need copper. To make that weird metal that allows me to traverse space.
Hydrogen, sodium, chromium, sodium. What's this? Ah! I mean, I'm not gonna say no to more carbon. Especially since it feels like everything I do. So O2 over there, O2 over there. The chunks of O2, so I can survive. Getting some sodium rich plants is also nice. Okay. So that's hazardous dioxide. You can get more of that for base stuff. No, it's not bad. That's off planet. Sodium, sodium. A jettison pod. Okay. You got my curiosity. Huh? Carbon oxygen. Woo! Thank you. What if I do? A jettison pod. So it's just... Random shit. Jetson Pod is nice and all, but it doesn't do anything. Just some basic uh, stuff. I also love that I could just snipe shit like that. It's kind of weird to see that uh, a lot of the stuff that I would normally be like going for copper-wise isn't actually around much. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and get you some more condensed carbon in there. And, uh, there was, uh, viscous fluids I wanted to put in there. And then, see if anything has it. Nope. Okay, it's gonna give me a lot of ferrite. Oh no, it's not. It's just what I have. Okay. Uh, what do I have for ferrite? 6,000? <laughs> okay. And I could go in here to refill that. That works. This chromatic metal I'm having a problem with. There. 
This is just a safe spot, so why not? That's health. Sodium. I could just go to the, uh... I could just go get Frost Ward. Too bad. Because now that I think about it, there's no reason for me not to. Because, quite frankly, I'm next to a shop. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to uh, set up a small base here. I could get the uh, helipod weeds like that. I can see damaged machinery like that. Get the buried mechanicals, which is nice. Wing sacks are plentiful here. So basically... <clears throat> it's just a bunch of materials. And sure, the planet's not very hospitable, but... What planet is in this fucking game? Look at that! Vissium! Foul smelling compound that's harvested from gut rot flowers. Okay. Got some nanites. I don't care about that machine. Cargo drop. Not bad. Or dash machinery. Looks like I'm going to machinery. Yeah, I really want to be smart about it. I'd actually go around and get these buried buried modules. Oh fuck. The broken machinery is inside of a rock. Eat. Yeah, more living slime. Okay, crosswort. Cargo ship. This is at least the crosswort. They are. Oh, I need the hazmat gauntlets. Oh, I need to make those. Chromatic. Okay. That's dangerous. I really didn't need more of this damage container bullshit. Yay, I got a microprocessor that I didn't need. Hundred or ninety six. Yum. Don't care about the cargo drop. He's goofy looking. Did this planet have like specific things like a uh, local shit?
<laughs> Just walking through it all. Hell yeah. Very cash. I know it's falling, you douche. Is that dioxide? It is. Oh, sodium. <laughs> okay. Care about that. I don't care about that. So I got a suspicious hazard. <laughs> so, black market ha exosuit uh, hazard protection. Uh. Care about that? That's fine. Because I want to put this there. So install this there. It will match with that. This is give me plus. Two resistance on cold, toxic, eight radiation, and four heat. I pass nearly every galactic standard for workmanship. The safety, this upgrade module affects toxic resistance, radiation, uh, cold, and heat. So it's good. <clears throat> it's not the most amazing, but it's good. Uh, then buried technology module. Wait a minute. Oh, I want to go back to the ship. God damn it. Out of my way, damn it. Yeah, my life support system's at 50%, so what? Get more sodium. Yeah, let's go ahead and refresh that. Life support is... We use the gel for that. Hazard protection. Let's get a little bit of sodium in there. And then hazard protection. Oh, that's the only thing. Okay. <coughs> I'll figure that out later. So, I need copper, put it into that. Or facium. What is facium? Is it ordite? I don't care about that. I 
and you put copper in there. And it's gonna take a little bit. That's fine though. We'll put some condensed carpet in. That should do it. And then start selling stuff too. Like the wheat. I don't really need. Um crystallized fragments. Oh, I break it open. Okay. Same thing with residual goop and other things. Oh, it just gave me more dehydration. That's fine with me. You know what? Drop pond detected. Okay. Four hours. I can do hyperdrive again. And deflector shields just need some chromatic metal too. Now I have shields again. Now I just need the uh, photon cans, which is furite, uh, pure ferrite and sodium nitrate. Which I can do. It's not that hard. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, give where it's needed. Oh, teleport receiver. Okay. Technology yeah, we can figure that out later. And this is silica power. I can put that next to suit. Um, I need metal plating. I need a lot of dehydrogen. So, let's go ahead and metal plating it. Then go over here and see what else I need. Or this. Great one of these requires ferrite dust. I got plenty of ferrite dust. See? Ferrite dust. 3,000. Got plenty of that. Okay. So now this ship will fly. It's got everything but... Gun. So if I get attacked right now, I'll be fucked.
From four hours to eight minutes, that's pretty good actually. So you go a little higher, you get into space. Interesting. I do need that. I'll probably end up going there a little bit later, but for now. I have to repair this. So I need carbon nanotubes. Antimatter housing I might not be able to do. So carbon nanotubes. How many of them do I need? Just one or two. One. And I need antimatter housing. What is antimatter housing? Oxygen and ferrite dust. That's fine. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, and then I could either go to cargo. That was my cargo. Or I can do that. I would prefer my cargo for now. I got 10 nanites for that. I don't want to take my ship over here. So little. Oh, it's a ladder. All terminals activated. Network. Outfit low. Access records. There are no incoming calls currently registered to the hollow terminals. Logs from a previous call are available. Is. Fakin Bodol. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know the Viking language. And that's what that is for. So it's. Building. Okay.
really? That's what you're giving me a milestone for. Can I just get my ship? So I need to turn over to here. Okay. Drink the water, my love, forgive me. So, salvage the rock here. Yeah. Uh, switch to multi tool. Mode. Salvage pods and cargo pods. Train manipulator. Substitute. I got two of them. Oh, uh, now I need to go to that cargo pod. And then just throw that in there, throw that in there, and then what am I gonna get? Dodge module frigate. That might be it. Do you like this force labor? Uh, 82 Harbor get come. You get them safe pass across the star and launch a complaint. Let's. We can cut our remnants of the Viking expeditionary force. Their ships decimated fragments of flesh and steel, going through the asteroid field. And sentinel scanned the debris. We leave quickly. I refuse to take my crew any further. You should have told me that we were doing this, and why? There is no hope, is there? Okay. Huh. 
I think I'm gonna go back to base and then call it good for the night. But we definitely went ahead quite a bit. Got a ship up and running even though it doesn't have a gun. <clears throat> Got um, a new gun that actually has an advanced money loser so we didn't have to build one. And have successfully unlocked a few things on it. Got a couple of materials and things I've never even seen before in this game. Already doing a good start. And we got to the anomaly, even though I fucked it up. Please don't be tell don't tell me you be pointed upward. Ah, you're not putting it upward in a bad way. And then here, I could just go ahead and throw whatever else I have into these that I need taken care of, like this runaway mold. And this can have the uh, rust of metal. This process is 5 to 1. Okay, so I can't actually do anything with that. And then go ahead and get the fluids in there. And then if we can get a way of recharging it. What? Why is my battery. And it plays parts. Electrical wiring. Yeah, I want to cut that. There. That was ridiculous. I was hoping that would recharge the whole fucking base, but no. Head place parts, please. I just want this to be rotated. And then Get the electrical wiring. Then hit the furnace again. And replace the carbon I took out of it. These are now storing a bunch of stuff. Living slime. Go into the, more of the runaway mold. Alright, this can go back. Um, residual goo. And I have a lot more living slime, so. <clears throat> Alright, you save me. Structure unit. This is the thing I want. Buildable technology. Yes, I want storage units. Uh, apparently, I still can't buy. I need ten of them, though. In order to get that, I need ten of these modules. Save, save, salvage them. So. I need one more.
This is a cargo bulkhead. Auto expanding freighter module. May also salvage during frigate expeditions. Prepackaged now expanders for portable units. Grabs an existing freighter, increasing its inventory capacity. Play your, uh, at your freighter's upgrade terminal. Jesus. Salvage frigate module. Uh, useless in its current form. Use a research station aboard your freighter. You convert it into useful technology. But it's useless to me now. Oh, I got a freighter. And I definitely need magnetic resonators and quantum computers. I got enough ionized cobalt, so let's go ahead and do that for now. Let's just do it. There's a living slime. 30 seconds. Which also have living slime right here. <laughs> That's funny. It's a one to one output, but it just takes a lot of time to do. What else do I have here that I want to do? Nothing at the moment, actually. Because once this living slime is done, I am done. That's what I need a button for. Turn that on what I want to turn it on. Vince technology. Let's see. Uh, solar panels would be nice. Okay. Signal booster wouldn't be too bad. What about a solar panel? We're playing gold and like metal. Okay. And then put that there, and when I get back on, I can just go ahead and mess with that. There's a Volcarona. Anyway. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for being here with me during this little adventure. Now, if anybody knows how I am, you can go ahead and go to any one of my little channels down below. Whether it be my YouTube, the stay here on Twitch, or... You can go ahead and hang out in my Discord and Twitter, Twitter, which is also known as X now. You see my VODs temporarily down below in the Twitch VODs here. And then you can also see a lot of them that I do post on my YouTube. That's shortly down the line. Hit that like, that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. So let's go ahead and find somebody to go ahead and give you two for the night. If anybody has any suggestions, throw them in the chat. And I'll take a look. Please make sure that you understand that they are, that they have to be 18 plus. If not, I will go ahead and grab a chunk of people and send you to a friendo. First one is for people who are subscribed to me. Second one is for people who are not. Well, okay. That's annoying. My bot is working. Why is it not? <laughs> anyway. This one's for people who are, subs are subscribed to me. Uh, 
Where's the other one? There it is. And this one's for people who are not subscribed to me. Please go say hello. Have a lot of fun. They are a friend of the channel. And they are having loads of fun. So. Be nice to the people that I send you to. And let's get you out of here. Good night.